what would be your current recommendation looking for sponsors? Like this is your first business. And so just like every other entrepreneur, you make a million mistakes at the beginning. Well, that's it. That's leadership, dude. I mean, that's that's running a company where you actually care about the people on your team. Oh, hey, I shaved my head. Wow, you did. We're brothers now. When, when, when did that happen? Was that last night? Um, so I took a buzzer two nights ago, and then last night I did the razor with the shaving cream. Okay. First time in my life. How do you feel? It feels great. It feels like a weight, a, a weight lifted off my head, literally. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love it. Well, welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> now right. our friendship officially begins. There you go. <laughs> okay, so Blue Nation, this is Kyle Manko, one of the best Timo players in the world, who uh, coaches me on League of Legends, and I also sponsor his stream. And we do this series every now and then to help him with his gaming business. So what's the update, man? What do you got? How can I help? a lot of good stuff going on. Uh, I'm going to have to try to organize it, you know. Um, let's see. We'll just go topic by topic. So we have the Prime Gaming, um, Twitch, Twitch Gaming, sorry. I call it Prime Gaming. Twitch Gaming that I told you about that um, it's very exciting. Um, we're starting the, like, rehearsal process in five days from now. So that's cool. Um, how do you feel about that? I, I feel like it's a good sign because in the gaming industry, there's not much organization. So the fact that we're doing like a rehearsal and then going, isn't that awesome? It's great because Twitch has a million people to do deals with. Mm -hmm. And they are. They're, they're not just doing deals with you. They're doing deals with all sorts of people. And so your job is to take that deal that you've, you've got with Twitch and turn it into a six-figure deal with Twitch. <laughs> yeah, you know, you say that and make it sound easy, but, well, you know. I mean, that's that's immediately where my head goes, right? It's like, okay, we got this deal. It's great. It's a good start. Now, how do we make this a six-figure annual deal with Twitch? And so how you do – they're spending that plot. Like, that's not a lot of money for them. That's not like it's this giant impossible – they're already spending that. But they're spending on other people. And so your job is to be the best when you come in. So – uh one rehearsal is great. Maybe we need five rehearsals. Uh, I, I'd also be in, in touch with their team to say, here's what we're planning. Like whoever the project manager is on this, whoever your contact is, they're the key person because they can, they can upsell you into the organization even bigger. So you loop, loop him or her in now into what you're doing, into the preparation, into the practice, into the ideas, instead of just, we show up and like, hey, uh, uh, we did, did we do a good job? <laughs> yeah, like, fair all enough. Super standard stuff, but because the gaming industry is so new and because most of, the, most of the gamers have no idea how to do business, it's their first business. Like this is your first business. And so just like every other entrepreneur, you make a million mistakes at the beginning. So it's actually a lot easier deal to get. Like getting the six-figure deal is easier than you think. Um, they're already spending their money. They're dealing with people who don't have a plan, who aren't practicing, who don't loop in the company. Um, and you're, you're also, a, you know, the wholesome brand of positive mental attitude as being the branding. It's a, that's, a, that's one that people want to get behind in the gaming world. Um, yeah, so so loop them in like asap get so, there with with that being said um you know they we don't we don't know any details yet of the context of the show right we've seen the episodes but it hasn't been a league one that they're going over that i would assume in rehearsal so should we go in just say hey here's our ideas or should we say okay let's hear your ideas first and work with that so who called the rehearsal them or you they did okay so in advance, when is the rehearsal? Uh, the first. Okay. Check my calendar. So what you want to do is set up a call in advance of the first and uh, say we want to be as prepared as possible for the rehearsal. Like this isn't something the gamers do. We want to prepare. For I know, yeah. <laughs> right? We want to, we've, we've watched the shows. I love how you do X, Y, Z. I'd love to know how myself as the leader as well as the people you brought you're bringing five people with you yes the five people that i'm bringing with me 
and be as prepared as possible to get even if it, you'd rather be over prepared and show them how professional you are compared to under prepared and just showing up and winging it and hoping that things work out um because that's your default style anyway <laughs> <laughs> yeah mix it up for a little bit there yeah but but that's that's everybody's style typically right so you want to be the standout uh to to be over prepared because you you want that person leaving the call the pre-call right like the call's gonna happen before the first thinking wow these guys are on their game oh yeah not just one of many you're one of 25 deals that they're doing uh Hmm, we should we should find a way to do more with these guys. Now it's still assuming that you show up and you do a good job and you're entertaining and positive and like you fulfill the requirements. But mm-hmm. if you hit all the requirements of what a, what a good show is, people would much rather work with the people who are early, professional, kind. Like, and you'll be kind and nice by default, so that's fine. But but the other stuff, the early and the professional, <laughs> that's definitely not. So we need you to know, a gamer strong suit or my strong suit. So right, but so but that's how you can easily win, right? And then and then yeah. that person starts pitching you up in the organization. Say we should bring in in the next conversation. Like, do we want Kyle? Do we want Ninja? Do we want Kyle? Do we want we want Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Hey, I just want to let you know you have a couple of streamers in the chat. Uh, PMA streamer and another streamer. So that's awesome. Look okay. at that meshing the gaming and business world together. Look at that. Uh, okay, so another another uh, serious question that I want, like your your total honesty and opinion, that you'll, is something that uh, regardless, you don't have yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so Team PMA, right? Um, you know, we, your first business, right? So we're we're, we're getting there, uh, making our six along the way, of course. I want to know your opinion. So we have the sponsorship program I told you about. That's that's underway and that's awesome. You know, it's very like can't give it to everybody, right? We're we're you know picking and choosing based off who's been you know who's doing their job the best and whatnot. Um, so, question: uh, We are facing a little call to happening, right? New season starting. Maybe some team members aren't being as positive. Uh, maybe some you know I don't think anybody's toxic on the team, but there's been instances where the positivity isn't the best. Right. And that's something that I, you know, that's the, why the team started. Right. I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the fame. I'm in it because I want to make the rift a better place. That's the core values. So do you think we should do like, should we have like a no tolerance policy? Do you think it should be like three straight throughout? Do you think I should have like a friend of friend talk? How do you feel we should combat this? And Mm -hmm. by we, it's going to be me swinging the, the um, punishment it, hammer, I guess. It's, but it's like, what do you think is the best way? Is this internal or public? <clears throat> internal. Well, 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 well. It's just like you know, streamers in their streams. So say I watch X, Y, and Z stream, and they're not being positive; they're being negative. And okay. They're on Team P. That's what I would say is public, like public, public facing stream versus internal, like yeah, stream between each other or like oh, yeah, this between core. everybody. Everybody's an angel. Like we can have an event. We can freaking you know, be be we're best friends. It's like, yeah. so just like, you know, cause playing solo queue for eight, 10 hours a day, it's not the easiest, right? You make it look easy. I make it look easy sometimes. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not the easiest. And I get that. And like, where, you know, the thing with positivity, <clears throat> it's all like, um, there's no body. Like you can't say, Oh, this guy's positive. This guy's not Well, you can, but it's hard, you know? So it's like, we've been trying to set that gold standard. Um, and we were trying to communicate it, which I think we're doing well. So how do you think we should go about that? Because like I said, it's been happening a lot with the new season, which is understandable, but it's not understandable to be negative in a, in a team PMA. Yeah. How many people are on PMA? We are actually um, like halting applications because we don't want it to get out of hand. We want to still have that high quality. There's 44 right now, four, 43. And and to get in, is it what, talking to you or how do they get uh, it's an application an application so application you have restored viewers have a little bit of followers we do a manual view with our recruiting team so there's a couple of us but then at some point they talk to you yeah and then we'll me and the recruiting team talk it over and then we make a final decision and then i invite them or i don't invite them okay so you've got you've got two options to do it the first option is 
super specific rules and guidelines. If you say these words on stream, you could risk losing your membership here, right? If you, whatever, you set up your eight rules of what is positive or what is negative, like what could get you kicked out, basically. And as you, as you scale, that is something that probably needs to get done, right? So look at Twitch. If you, there's guidelines. If you break the guidelines, if you do these things, you get kicked out of Twitch. And there are some that are super easy and obvious, um, but most people don't have, they're not partner. They don't know anybody at Twitch and they can't, they can't uh, fight it. You know, it's just super hard. It's all automated. Um, but if you're doing some of these things, then you get kicked out of Twitch. Uh, that works best when you, when you don't have a personal connection to them. If you're, if the goal is to keep it in the 40, you know, 50 range and then just maybe improve on the, on the quality, um, uh, people will still drop. Like some people may decide, I don't know. I don't want to stream anymore. Okay, great. Well, you can't be a part of team PMA if you're not streaming. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of part of that. We've done a good job with that, with the, you know, anybody who's inactive can't be on it. And that's been really good conversations, which is good. Yeah. Um, but so that's the same thing. It's, it's those conversations and, and the pull is the, is the personal relationship. So if we were having a conversation, if you did, if you, and we've had a couple, you know, for your business offline, not, not public on Instagram, but offline, it's like, you're doing something that then you want my feedback on i say dude this is not how to do it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and 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 you'll listen hopefully usually because there's there's pull because you know me because i care about you because i want to see you win and so for those people it's it's just having a conversation like hey what's going on? maybe their dog just died you know maybe maybe they just broke up like, have you always been in the most PMA mindset when of course yeah, not? Well, so that's the thing, right? So it's like it's spending the extra time with them to understand what they're doing, what, what the, what's going on in their life right now. Maybe they just need the reminder. Maybe maybe they're around a lot of negative people and they, they're not proud of how they're acting right now. And they're they just need to be called out and have have a not just like, hey, you're being negative. You suck. But what's going on in your life? Like what's this isn't who you are. And they need that extra little, this is your job as a leader is to help people be the best version of themselves. And that, that is listening and caring and empathizing and then trying to help design a strategy forward. It doesn't mean that, hey, if they keep doing it, they're going to stay on the team. Like if you keep just showing up and you're negative all the time, you're, you're going to get kicked off the team. But it probably won't go there if you have enough pull emotionally with them. Like, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right, Kyle. I don't know. I've just been having this rough. I just got fired. My girlfriend left me, and uh, it's just been really rough right now. Thank you for like, bringing me back into the light, right? Um, at the end of the day, you're the heart and soul. So this, when you say uh, there's no way to say if somebody is positive or not, it's, it's, it's your heart and soul that says whether they're positive or not. This is your club. You get to pick who joins in or not. It's a good way of looking at it. So it's interesting. Yeah. So some kind of rules are great for the website. Rules are hard because <clears throat> like a lot of streaming is tone and like uh, like how you say something or when you say something, you know, if it's ironic or unironic. It's, so it's like hard to have like, hey, you can't say this, you know, obviously it's for, you know, that's. It's a no-brainer for some stuff. Like, yeah, hey, don't call your teammates dumbasses, right? That's fair. <laughs> um, but it's like, you know, a lot of it is context, you know, um, and like tone. So it's like hard to, I, I, it's hard to come with that, but I can definitely see where you're coming from where, because, you know, after you brought it up, we have had, I've, I've talked to two people and they've gotten, once we had a talk or a reminder, it's like, it's like they're an angel now. They're an angel again. You know, it's like, so that, that has worked. Uh, well, and listen, now. more more important than just, them being better for for their stream and team pma uh you've helped them yeah that's what it's all about too like you've actually helped help them as a person because Amen. i this is where it's like it's not just slapping their wrists and saying hey 
do this or you're out. It's giving them love because they, they probably just need someone to talk to and, and chances are the people in their life they, they can't talk to. Hey Amen. It's a good way of looking at it. Well, that's it. That's leadership. Dude. I mean, that's, that's running a company where you actually care about the people on your team. When I got 45 people or whatever, it, it starts to get a little rough. I mean, I'm at 30 something in my company and I feel the, the, the pull of like, everybody to be <laughs> connected to me. Um, but uh, yeah, even, even if you're checking in with them once a month or, or if it's only you're checking in when there's something negative going on and most people would just expect it to be a, that slap on the wrist, that penalty box. Like, hey, if you don't do this, you're going to be kicked out. And it doesn't mean that there are not consequences. It's, but, it's hard for me to do that process. It's hard for me to say, hey, here's like a strike or like, hey, you have to stop this. You know, it's hard for me to say that. I like the, having the talks, which I've been doing great. Uh, but it's hard for me to say, hey, you can't do this. You know, I don't know. It's just hard. It's hard. But, but you know, it's part that's of being hard a, things. I mean, yeah. I mean, so, I mean, that's part of it. Leadership is hard. It. You got to do the hard thing. So it's most people would expect the 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 penalty box or the, the you know the slap on the wrist, um, and there are still consequences. Like you you can still I wouldn't lead with it. The hey, I've been seeing a lot of negativity on your stream recently, where you did this this and this. What what's going on? And and I would. Even default to like at the beginning, it's not even about PMA. It's not about you. It's not about the relationship. It's about them. Like, let's put aside PMA and let's put aside all of our rules and everything else right now. Just tell me what, what's happening in life. Because at least from what I know, know of you, this isn't who you are. So what's happening right now that this is causing, right? And so you're, you're unburdening the PMA stuff and just helping them. And, and then you solve the problem. So, like, why are they negative? Why are they toxic? They're duoing with somebody who's just super negative and they're being pulled in or whatever the thing is that's causing them to be that way. And then you get to a solution, which is whatever the solution is, right? They're going to they're gonna not duo with that person anymore. They're going to get a good sleep schedule. They're gonna, like, whatever the thing is. And once you get a solution, then, then you, you talk about the um, fact that, hey, Obviously, this is important for PMA. We're, we're PMA, positive mental attitude. Yeah, it's a thing. Uh, keeping up this behavior is going to be important to stay in the group. And I think you're going to be an amazing part of this group. And I want to help you grow and build your stream and get sponsors and all that. But you, you have to stay on the right side of this. For us. It goes into, you know, groups into like, we, that's that's going to be that's our branding, right? That's that's what the team, you know, we, we go to. I was demoing. I already know that. I just, what you missed was the process. It's like you come in and you're not punishing them. You're caring about them as a human first. If somebody leads with, I know Kyle, like you set up a call. Hey, you know, I want to talk to you about what's going on in your stream. I know Kyle. I know it's not very PMA. I know, I know, I know. Um, I'll fix it. That's not, no. It's like, I don't even care about PMA right now. I want to talk about you. So it's very that's, that's, yeah, that's, I can see that. I can see that. You're putting PMA aside and you're only talking about the person. You have to solve the problem with the person before you come back to PMA. Once you solve the problem with the person, then you go to, then you can talk about PMA. Say, hey, this is important for PMA because we're positive mental attitude. And if, it, if this keeps happening, I can't keep helping you. So you, you, it's not that there are no consequences, it's just not the lead. Because if you're leading with consequences, they shut down, and they just yeah. promise to do better. I, I do as well. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, everybody does. As soon as you get go on the attack, people raise their defenses. That's what happens. If you're if I'm attacking you, you're gonna instantly get defensive. True. And, and then that makes it a lot more difficult to get to the the cause Green of our potatoes. solution. Because you don't want Jim just to say like that's a that's a very typical corporate thing, is why people hate their jobs. Is the boss would just say you need to fix this? Like what's wrong with you? Fix this thing, and and then all you're gonna that's say is stupid. Yes, yeah, sir, I'll fix this. 
but but what's the problem? How did like how did this even happen in the first place, right? So if you actually care about people, so that's why if they if they lead with Kyle, I know it's not part of Team PMA. I know it's part of the branding. I'm going to do better. Like I, you just push that aside. I don't even care about PMA right now. I care about you as a human. I want to know what's going on in your life that, that this is happening. I lost 85 games in a row pl- trying to play. I'm <laughs> it's understandable. You get a free pass. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I did have another question. So far, yeah. it's going well. Um, what would be your current recommendation looking for sponsors? What, have you gone through that process for? Do you just send out emails? Do you Google our website? What's your, how do you go through that process? You look at anybody who is currently sponsoring things in the gaming industry. So you look at any, well, events, I mean, events aren't obviously happening, um, but any online events that are happening, you look at, like the number of people who message me to say, hey, uh, I see you sponsor Banco. What are the terms? What are the deals? Do you want to sponsor me? You know, that, that's, that's what you should be doing. Like looking at the other sponsors of the shows. So check out other streams and, and start from there and look, for, look at their sponsors and see what's up events right like um draft buff for sure is everywhere sponsoring well, events. you know what? isn't that well we're gonna do like we have to be selective but isn't draft buff like there's not betting i thought it's fantasy yeah okay but so whatever. that's not up our alley but yeah i get what you're talking i get your, your, well your, sure your whatever from. listen uh, y- yes if that doesn't fit within your guidelines and you cut it yeah but, but I think that's that's good though. Starting with just Gap Up is doing a lot smaller deals. Alienware is obviously the probably the biggest or one of the biggest. Um, like how do you get an Alienware deal? Who's the person at Alienware that you need to talk to to get in? Uh, and then G-Fuel. whoever G Fuel. Yeah, like do you want to be again? This is where I struggle with sponsorships because I want to actually use the thing. So if I had G Fuel sponsor me, I'd have to drink G Fuel. Yeah, and, I wouldn't. and I don't want to drink G Fuel, so I'm not. I'm not talking to G Fuel. That time as well. I, I have to really think with the sponsor. Yeah. So they're already spending. The last thing you want to do is convince people to to bet on on gaming, right? To get into gaming, like whatever headphones you're using right now. You know, uh, I don't know. It's a Logitech headset. Great. You don't want to go to Logitech and uh, try to convince them to sponsor streamers it's too it's too complicated don't convince somebody you want people who are already in the space and give them an opportunity for a better deal somebody's spending money in gaming and then show them what you can do I just, yeah i think uh we're we're making progress with that it's going great so far uh, you know it feels great because you know we're making our streamers real money right it helps them there's a lot of streamers that aren't full-time that are paying their bills right there you know they're during that process so feels good and it's you know we we do bring hey you know our our, our pitch right and i want your opinion our pitch is like hey we're you know we're team PMA on twitch we've got 44 streamers who are positive as heck we'd love to work with you and see what we can work out you know that's pretty much our pitch um summarize and uh i think it's going good i think it's going well it's awesome i'm excited to see the future of it Give yes. your opinion. You don't look satisfied there. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm paraphrasing. Of course, it's more than that. I don't just say, "Hey, we're positive streamers, give us money." It's more than that, but you know, that's like the main thing: branding around the positivity. You know, these are people you want to work with who are wholesome, who are gonna, who you know, represent you and me well, and the work. Okay. So, so the thing that's missing from that pitch is re- represent them for what? Like, what do I get? If I'm the if I'm the sponsor, why am I working with you, Evan? Hello, that's like saying, hey, why do we brew there? Because we need brew there. Sponsors want to find people to promote. Hello. No, but the, the, even as we we had an offline conversation talking about the difference between conversion and branding. That was very helpful. That was some nice knowledge. That was really good. I mean, it gets you thinking. No, for real, that's like something that you put. It's like. That was two plus two to you, but to me that was like the biggest algorithm mathematician statement, but it makes a lot of sense. So so you need to incorporate that into your pitch. Cause somebody who cares about just converting people to signups, I've got a new app that I need to get somebody to sign up for. 
is it if so when you say working with us you get to work with positive streamers okay great but what i really need to do is i like that but i want to i want to convert people to sign up for my app well it's easier to do with a nice tight-knit and positive community that are willing to help the show out with whatever they need but yeah so that that's at the top for sure right you want to be with a company that wants to support positive streamers and spreading goodness on the rift awesome and that is much more branding play like the branding guys are going to care about how many how many people are watching the stream how many concurrent viewers are we having right how engaged are the people um what what's the background going to look like like can we fix can we have our little red bull lamp showing up you know on your right like that's the branding that they care about the brand elements so the size of the stream and the brand elements. Somebody who cares about conversion is only caring about how many signups you're going to get me. They don't care if you wear their their shirt or hat or headphones or put a lamp in the in the shot or right to to find out if if they know. Do you just ask straight up? Would you just say, "Hey, do you care about branding or conversion?" Or do you say, "How how would you do it?" And also, what if the sponsor doesn't know? <laughs> so how would you go about that finding that out? Because that that is really useful information. How would you go about finding that out? Like efficiently so one you look at the size of the company twitch cares about branding startup okay. app company cares about conversions so that's that's a good starting point right away um two you're looking at other time deals. out yeah sorry um for example raid shadow legends cares about conversions but i would think they're huge so is that like a blip in the radar or would that be that that's all they care about in my experience so would that be a blip it's, in the radar is that just it's company culture as well as who you're dealing with so so second you look at what's the who's what's the title like who are we dealing with at the company because how they how they say it matters if somebody's title is brand sponsorships it's different than sales and marketing that's fair so look at the title of the person um third you can ask them like this shows your level of sophistication when you're talking to them before you even pitch, the best pitches are the ones where you listen first, right? The greatest salespeople are the ones who use their two ears and one mouth, right? You listen first. Um, I, I, every time I talk to a potential sponsor, we have that conversation. Like, before we get started, what's, what's most important to you? Are you looking for branding? You want to be associated with my brand? You want to get in front of entrepreneurs? Or are you looking for conversions like we're tracking leads to landing pages and sales right and then you you take it from there like depending on how they answer that question you have a slightly different pitch yes positive streamers but depending on how they answer they care about branding now we're talking about how many streamers we have how many impressions they're going to get how many people watch concurrently on the stream conversions we're talking about other deals we've done how we're going to promote your product landing page setups, tracking codes, cookies, all that stuff. Yeah, definitely change your pitch depending on it. And, and you can just ask. And if they don't know, it's conversions. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think it's very, like, that's something I didn't know before you talked about it. Though. Like, it's good to, that's like a, a great identifier of what you're working with. Yeah. What you need to be, what you need to be doing, too, you know. Sweet. Okay. It's exciting Back stuff. Up. Is my first time ever seeing Mink with no hat. What a great day to be alive. <laughs> that should be a shirt, by the way. It should be what? What a great day to be alive. What a day to be alive, yeah. Yeah, that's a good shirt for you. All right. That would be. Oh, Mank, in the house. Appreciate you, man. Good luck. It's been, time. it's been awesome seeing it grow. I mean, from. It is, yeah. It's great. I in a Walmart parking lot, sleeping to changing your own life around, turning to a business, and now helping other people do it as well i'm pumped it feels good it feels yeah. good with your help of course you've been there along the way let's go all right thanks kyle have see a great day everybody have a great day if you want to see the last one-on-one -on -one i did with kyle manko check the video right there next to me i think you'll enjoy it continue to believe and i'll see you there that's great you planted that idea on my head so i appreciate that and you're gonna make 12 smart. times more money you need to guide them and tell them what to do wow yeah. i don't know if i could talk to you anymore